Hey guys, it's been a really long time since we've uploaded any sort of video. Um, there's been a lot going on in our lives. My husband, Matty, Matthew, was um, having some pretty rough headaches and not feeling very good and come to find out he ended up with a pretty big brain tumor. Um, so we've been in and out of the hospital and he had brain surgery and um, there's just been a whole lot. That's, that's why we look so tired. <laughs> but it's been quite a long time since I've gotten to take you guys through the garden and a lot has changed in that time frame. And the garden is our happy place. The garden is where we um, just feel peaceful and joyful. And so I thought, what better way to keep our focus on things that are happy than to take you guys through the garden. Go take a peek. I'm going to show you my tomatoes. You mean tomatoes? I mean tomatoes. Huh? Tomatoes. Okay, let's start with Elias and his tomatoes. Can you show me? Go ahead. There's two. So see can happen. Yeah, they're a little mixed up. I think mommy might have um, planted them a little differently than I originally thought. And these are yummy. But we do have a good mixture. I don't know if that comes through or not, but these plants are loaded with tomatoes. And I still have more coming up down here. We've got those golden pear tomatoes hiding back here somewhere. I don't know if I can get to it. There they are. They're pretty cool. They are. Okay, sis, let me come on this side to you. This has been my favorite kale, too. We planted a couple different kinds. This was the dwarf blue, and I much prefer the taste of this one and how well it's growing to this one and I don't remember the exact name of this one I will have to look it up again for you guys but while the leaves of this one are bigger it seemed to be a lot more susceptible to pests than the other and it's um, I don't want to say flimsier but it's just a softer texture and I really like the kind of crunchy kale especially since I use it in soups so that's my personal vote yes they are bush beans so that was another mistake I made gardening is total trial and error I planted bush beans on one side and pole beans on the other and one of my sets did not take and I thought that when I thinned out my beans and put the same ones on this side to grow that I was putting pole beans but I in fact put bush beans so they will not be growing up the trellis like I had intended so we let our cantaloupe come and take over this trellis that's where you want to go sis Let me see them. Uh, There's our cantaloupes. That, that one over there is a better one to see. Yeah. And we and are going to have cantaloupe. <gasps> yeah, we're going to have and lots of cantaloupe. Can I, can I yes. Your watermelon. Yes. Well, those are radishes in the middle, but this right here is your watermelon. You are right. And you guys, these took forever and a day to start so these are sugar baby watermelon plants and he's also got watermelon growing back here and it's like a golden melon um 
I don't know anything about them. I've never tried them before, but they looked really interesting. So we went ahead and planted those. There's my sweet hubby. Good morning. <laughs> Always helping out, even when he should be resting. That's his personality. We have some patty pan squash already growing, which is pretty cool. Mom, inside this tomato is so weird. Inside the tomato is so weird? Yeah, look here, here, Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, look so That's crazy. That's funny. Oh, a love bug came to see you. Bye. We have the white, well, they're green right now, but they'll go white. The patty pan squash and yellow in there. This bed just exploded. We have more of the patty pan squash in here. More cantaloupe. Let's see if we can get a good look at them. There they are, little babies starting. I put some extra okra plants in here that I had. And then our basil and green onion, thyme and oregano. And then these are those little bitty plant starts. I'm pretty sure that was the last video I did or close to the last video was the plants that I got from my friend Nicole. They were little, little bitty. Well, here they are. And mm -hmm. there we go. There's some yellow squash. I don't know if you can see that okay. I know. The chickens think I'm about to give them some of the veggies. <laughs> I am not. There's our green zucchini. You like those? And our gray zucchini has started. It's looking so good. I love the coloring of these. Um, I can't say that I've ever tried them. I'm guessing they taste very, very similar to regular zucchini, but they sure are pretty. We have some pickles. Pickles, listen to me. Cucumbers that I want to pickle. <laughs> Starting down there. And they're doing well on a little string trellis. I wasn't sure how that was going to work out, but I really like it. Oh, yeah, he calls these wishing flowers. They're pretty cute. The love bugs were trying to eat these. Only this one. Oh, my goodness, that's crazy. I don't know why I tried to shoot them away. We've harvested a ton of green beans already, too, off these. Um, bush bean plants what I thought was whole beans um, <laughs> next year right sis next year They're so big. well I just went through and picked them there's this one that's super big well this one right here. they're growing for sure I harvested all the bigger ones already we were actually able to eat those for Easter which was pretty cool our pepper plants have started what producing. Are These are okra plants. You're right, they do grow. They grow upside down. This one's all curled up. Like a little it is really curly. Mm -hmm. It's I'm not sure what made it do that, but it I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we have some we can okra. Cut it and I actually really like this part of the garden. Um, I might just be really weird, but I just think it looks like such a little forest under here. It's just so calm and shady. Yeah, if I was small, <laughs> I would definitely be under here. You would be under there. There's pretty little flowers everywhere. I do love it. But yeah, that's that's the garden tour for right now. These tomato plants I've had to cut back probably three or four times. I added some shade cloth just to give them a little bit of a break because we have no shade on this side of our house whatsoever. Um, so we tried that out, it seems to help. They look a lot happier now. But it has exploded, you guys, and I can't wait till we start getting all the zucchini and the cantaloupe and everything. and get to share some of it with you guys and um, 
just bless others with what God's blessed us with. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Until next time.